Hey everybody, it's Bart from the York County History Center with today's Did You Know? Did you know the American eel is the only catadromous fish in North America? Catadromous means that they spawn in salt water and live as adults in fresh water. The opposite, anadromous fish, like the Atlantic salmon and the American shad, spawn in fresh water but live as adults in the ocean. American eels spawn in the Sargasso Sea and are found widely along the Atlantic and Gulf Coast where the young eels move far upstream into small tributaries. Life stages. American eels are also known as glass eels, elvers, yellow eels, or silver eels depending on which life stage an individual is in. Leptocephali. Baby eels start as small, transparent, willow-shaped larvae called leptocephali that drift with the Gulf Stream taking about a year to reach the Atlantic coast. Glass eels. By the time they reach the coast, the transparent larvae have developed fins, grown to about two to three inches long, and are the shape of adult eels. Elvers. Elvers develop gray to green-brown pigmentation and are more than four inches in length. They can be found in estuaries, marine, or tidal rivers. Yellow eels. Yellow eels are sexually immature adults that are yellow-green to olive-brown. It can take three to 40 years to sexually mature depending on the habitat they live in. They are nocturnal and feed on a wide variety of aquatic insects, crayfish and other crustaceans, frogs, fishes, and worms. Silver eels. Silver eels are about eight to 10 inches long when they sexually mature and have bronze-black backs and silver undersides. Fully mature silver eels return to the Sargasso Sea to spawn, and it is believed that they then die. Eel facts. In Pennsylvania, the maximum size for eels is two to three feet, although four feet or more is possible. Females grow larger than males. Eels can cover their entire bodies with a mucus layer, making them nearly impossible to capture by hand, giving rise to the expression, slippery as an eel. Eels can absorb oxygen through their skin and gills, allowing them to travel overland, particularly wet grass or mud. The Delaware River in Pennsylvania has the most abundant population of eels of all the state's streams because there are no obstructing dams to prevent the eels' upriver migration. Eels are rarely found in the Susquehanna River system due to the hydroelectric dams impeding their upstream migration. Eel history. Until the early 1900s, eels supported an intense commercial fishery in the Susquehanna and Delaware River systems. Eel weirs funneled ocean-bound migrating eels into baskets. In 1912, caught an off-year, 50,000 eels weighing more than 44,000 pounds were caught in Pennsylvania. Local folk artist Lewis Miller captured this scene of himself and two friends fishing for eels in the Cadoras Creek in 1808. In another scene, Jacob Busser is shown gigging a lamprey in the Cadoras Creek. Note the circular, sucker disc mouth. While eels and lamprey look very similar, they are actually very, very different. Lamprey are boneless, jawless fish that lack pectoral and pelvic fins. They feed through a sucker disc mouth. This eel gig, spear, is on display at the Golden Plow Tavern. Thanks for watching. To learn more about York County's fascinating history, visit us at yorkhistorycenter.org.